Dear students, today we will see VI characteristics of UGT. Okay. Now if you see this graph over here, this graph is drawn voltage versus current. But one speciality over here is what we do with our normal graphs and this graph is the x-axis is taken for the current. The emitter current IE is going to represent the x-axis. Whereas y axis is going to represent emitter voltage VE. This is just opposite to normal graph what we take. We usually take on x axis voltage and y axis current. But here to show a negative resistance region. Here we are taking on x axis we are taking the current emitter current. And on y axis we are taking the voltage emitter voltage. Okay. Now here. When you increase the emitter voltage of the UJT, say this was your UJT, okay, and this was your P type, this was N type bar, here you are going to have emitter, and this voltage VE, whenever you are going to increase, okay, that time initially there will be no forward bias of that PN junction. This PN junction will not get forward biased okay there will be a small leakage current flowing okay and that leakage current we are showing from here negative negative leakage current is flowing 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 you are increasing the emitter voltage this voltage between base 1 and emitter you are going to increase 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 increase, increase. you are increasing but there is a small leakage current flowing as you increase Okay, as you increase, it will reach a specific point called as peak voltage. Once the emitter voltage reaches a specific point called as peak voltage, at that time, the depletion layer between P and N junction will be overcome. And all the voltages which are opposing the emitter voltage will be overcome. And UJT will start flowing current it will start conducting you can say ujt is on okay now that point where the applied voltage reaches is called as peak voltage this is vp that is peak voltage vp okay now once the peak voltage is reached and once the ujt starts conducting okay current starts flowing and once the current starts flowing, the resistance between base 1 and emitter will decrease and the voltage across the device will decrease. Voltage across the device will decrease. So here you have shown as this is the current axis, current is increasing, current will increase, but voltage, this is the voltage axis, voltage is decreasing. So voltage from peak point it is going to come to a valley point. So here you can see current is increasing and voltage is decreasing. So it is just inverse the Ohm's law and therefore it is taken as a negative resistance region. Therefore it is taken as a negative resistance region. This region is very important for your oscillations production. Okay. And after you reach this down point which is called as valley point after that again if you increase the applied voltage the UJT there will be a normal behavior like a linear component as the voltage increases the current also increases it will behave normally okay so the area between peak point and valley point this area is called as negative resistance region okay the area before the peak point when you started with the reverse current till you reach the peak point Okay, so here till it was negative current, it was it is called as cutoff region. And the area after the valley point when it starts behaving linearly, it like a normal diode, then it is called as a saturation region. Okay, so this is how the graph or VI characteristics of UJT is plotted. The most important thing is here the x axis you take current and y axis you take voltage. So that you can show this dipping of voltage when current is increasing 
and this inverse relation according to ohm's law will give you the negative resistance region okay and this is an important factor of ujt characteristics clear